Hey everybody, welcome back to my Medieval Dynasty playthrough. Uh, so last episode, we're just kind of getting started. We built our first house. Uh, we collected some straw. We did some uh, just light hunting, built a campfire. So we're pretty well ready to keep continuing. Uh, we have to wait for our season to progress to complete my chapter two. I think it might be long enough that I can actually go talk to Unighost. Let's see if I can kill this bird real quick. Boom. Got him. It's probably gonna be just some meat and some feathers. quick gonna look at the settings uh, quality okay so I've got it set to quality so we'll see if this makes much of a difference this uh, just recently had the update that gave you that option to go between quality and performance so I'm just gonna play it on quality and we'll see uh, how how well that uh, works for me Unlock the hunting lodge. Ah, broke my knife. Let's see if I can craft another one. I know you can go. That's why you're hiding back here, buddy. So as you can see, this part of the quest is going to take me quite a ways away. So I'll probably finish this season before I decide to go after that.
Let's take a look at our skills. Uh, so you can, as you do things in a skill tree, you get experience and go up levels. So here I've got one level in survival. Uh, so I can put a skill point into tier one. So here's where I was talking about. I get a 25% higher poison resistance. So that means I can eat those unripe berries and they don't affect me as much. Uh, insensitive gives me a little more temperature tolerance. So that would be good for winter. And this just gives me more experience for things like that. Um, right now... I think I'll go with this. I think disease is gonna be my biggest challenge right now. Welcome. It was nice seeing you. I think there's some randomness to the quest because I feel like in an earlier playthrough I was given a quest at this stage to go retrieve somebody's bag. And I had to go to another t town to get the bag. Um, so that's kind of, uh, I guess that kind of increases the replayability to it if it's got random missions. Was close to that survival. So this is what I was talking about uh, in the inspector mode. You can see things. You'll get unlocked skills that allow you to see things in that mode. So that's this. Uh, if you hold left bumper. Like right now, it just kind of darkens and you don't see anything. But if I invest that skill point, I'll be able to see a little more things. 10% uh, more health. That seems like that would be well worth it. And I've actually got two points to spend here. I can go up to level three if I wanted to. 10% slower loss of food or water, that would be nice. Alcohol resistance and 10% faster movement of water. I like this, uh, this one. Oh, I know I was gonna do. I was gonna go see if I can't recruit somebody yet. I think I have to wait till the second season. But maybe since I've completed some quests, it'll let me start trying to recruit people. Hello. Oh yeah, here we go. So I can just straight up ask uh, Baldwina if she wants to join my settlement, or I can start romancing her, which can help 
get her to join, but it also can lead to her being my wife. Um, and that's kind of a point of this game is not only are you recruiting people for your settlement, but the idea is to leave a dynasty for of kids and have kids. So that's uh, options they've added to this game. Or have in this game, I should say, and added it, but it's in this game. Okay, so as simple as asking her, and she's like, sure, I'll come join you. I have no idea who you are, but cool. So this is just kind of talking about, you know, finding a wife, what you got to do. Um, you know, she just straight up decides she's going to join my settler, so let's talk to Nibor. <laughs> Yeah, so he's saying I gotta have a hundred reputation uh, to before he'll join me. Um, I don't know where I check my reputation, so let's check that out. Oh, there we go. So my dynasty reputation is at eighty. So if I get it up to 100, probably after surviving another season, he will probably uh, be willing to join. So while we're waiting for her to actually make it down there, it's going to take her forever to walk down to the settlement. We'll go check our rabbit trap. And there you go down. All you gotta do is collect the rabbit and it resets the trap. You usually get like it's at 63%. You usually get like three captures out of a trap. So every time you get it, just collect it automatically resets and you're good to go. Uh, let's craft I'll sleep. some of this meat. I'm going to get some resources.
before we do that, let's just pick up some resources. Try to build. It's amazing how much eight little stones will take you. resources. Alright, we'll go ahead and uh, sleep till the next day. This should be the last day of the season. sure if resources like sticks and berries and stuff respawn at the end of the season. I know the berries kind of reset because they ripen, uh, but not sure about anything else. Take up these stumps and collect the logs.
cut down some more trees. And once again, I'll have to go find some straw. Let's see what this level's got us. Five percent more experience. Five more experience. Okay, so that's about all I'm gonna get. Seems like my axes go quick. And this is just assigning houses. I don't Hello. have a house for her yet, so can't really assign her a house. Not sure what the update did, but it makes this gathering straw a lot easier. Holy cow, this is so much faster. This was such a pain earlier. Now this is, uh, yeah. A lot better. That was a pretty good little update there. Chop down some trees.
Ow. Smash you with a wooden hammer. Stupid little thing get in the way. There we go. Hunting lodge is complete. So I've got a drying rack, more chest, bottle wall, whatever that is. It's crazy you can see this bow hanging here, but you can't actually use it. A workbench, I craft stuff, which I have not unlocked that stuff yet, but that's uh, more things that'll get unlocked. Let's try some romance. So as you can see, my her affection is rising. Um, so this is kind of a choose your own little adventure here. Eventually I will have to get her something. Yeah, so you can only do so much. So now she is a hunter. And you're gonna change assignments and such, but uh she's basically gonna start cleaning up this house for me. Alright, we need some more food, so I believe it is time. This spear is about done. Let's see uh, what we got. So, we can make another wooden spear. Check this trap too. Here we go. Trap is not set. Oh, bunny rabbit. He is gone. Box took off on the two. Too loud or something.
Ah, Mist. Got it. I think it's dead now. Nice leather meat. I can make the dried meat. It should last longer. I don't believe it gives you as much food. But it should last longer than the roasted meat, I believe. The hand animation just cracks me up though. But I mean, what should I expect there? It's other games do the same thing where you just kind of, guy just kind of does like a hand animation and oh, you magically have something. reputation no inventory coin I have 50 coin oh So dried food plus five, roasts plus six. This is worth more money though. Check this trap one more time, and I think it's getting close to time to end this season. Still nothing there. Let's craft another spear.
Ah. Totally missed him. Wabbits. I don't see any. I think I scared them all away. All right, let's uh, see if we can't get this season to turn. Looks like I still have three minutes, so. Maybe we'll go try to find some birds. Seems like there's some birds that land over here. that. Got him. Turn the season. Oh. Ah, just short. Still no rabbit. Still not ready, huh? Well,
restore these logs. seconds. Alright, let's cook some. Set. What's going on here? So confused. Just let me go to the next season. Like she is in a bad mood. Negative 66. Uh, let's try some small talk. Have a good day. There you go. We made it to the third chapter. Complete some quests for neighbors, so... Maybe this is where those quests unlocked um, that I was thinking about. Just curious if I can do anything here. So I need meat, cabbage, salted meat. Carrots, salted meat. I'm not sure where I get cabbage from. Probably have to buy it. Grow cabbage or something. Alright, well, I think that's here. We'll show real quick. Uh, collect these berries. Another reason why I like this spot is there's all kinds of booze right here. So now when I go to Berry, it gives me food, it gives me water, but it gives me no poison because it's ripe. So I can just eat, eat, eat. But if you also notice my uh, food and food bar, my water bar down the bottom left uh, went back to 100% when the season changes. 
So that's something to consider that if you're low and you're getting ready to change seasons, there's no reason to go out, eat a bunch of food, and drink some water to get your your meters back up. They're automatically going to get reset back to 100%. Uh, not really sure why they did it like that, but still kind of cool that you can you know, rely on that. And it is raining. And this game makes me sad because I don't like the rain. Really wish they would take the rain. I mean, I understand it's a survival game, but the rain is uh, deadly night cheap. Rain kind of bummed me out. Alright, well I think that's going to wrap up this episode. Um, so we did a lot more hunting. We built our hunting lodge. We were able to recruit Baldwina. And we're hoping that we'll be able to romance her a little bit. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to recruit a few more people. Let's see where our... We're at 100, so we know we can go back and get that other guy uh, back uh, and recruit him so that means we'll have to build another house next episode so we'll have plenty of spot spaces for people to live so our we're rolling right along we're gonna start doing these quests for people that'll increase our reputation even more so you know the kind of the idea is you increase your reputation you gather more people you give them jobs and then they can do stuff for you so you don't have to constantly be harvesting and hunting and doing these things they can help you out um, and eventually hopefully grow crops and things like that so that's kind of where we're going on this journey um, like I said I haven't played it very much I haven't gotten real far because it, I just it's kind of hard kept dying so I kept restarting because I've learned new things so um, here pretty soon I'm going to catch up to that point where I just don't know what to do so I'll be You'll probably start seeing me struggle a lot. Uh, it's definitely not as easy as it seems when you first start, but it's it's definitely has a high learning curve. All right. Well, if you got any questions, drop a comment. Uh, or if you saw something that I did and you said, "Hey, that was dumb. You should have done it this way." By all means, drop a comment. Like I said, I'm fairly new to this game. Haven't really played it that much, so we'll take any help that I can get. Well, that's all I've got for this episode. As always, thanks for watching.